Hello, my name is Shion Adigun, and you are watching The Cover on Accelerate TV. If I had to describe myself in one word, it would probably be selfless. Um, because my entire existence, I think, is living for the better uh, the betterment of the greater good. I just like to see people happy, I like to see people excel, I like to see people grow, and I think that that selflessness, in order to embody that type of personality, you have to have a level of integrity, you have to have a level of passion, and um, I think that I embody all of those qualities. For me, the word fashion means that you are able to express yourself artistically in whatever form you are most creative in. And I think that it's beautiful. I love fashion. Uh, to be honest, I don't really have a favorite fashion brand or a favorite fashion look. I think that as I'm evolving, I am also evolving with my artistic expression, and that's what I consider fashion to be. And so in that moment, whatever that artistic expression may be is where I feel like I allow myself to go. Um, it probably wasn't until like a year ago that I even really started wearing any type of makeup. Um, and then even then, I still don't have a clue about that, and I feel like that's associated itself with fashion. But every now and again, you know, I'll let somebody just doll me up, and if that means they put me in a dress or put me in a beanie and some pearl pants, let's do it. I think that's kind of where I am in life. <laughs> Daily makeup routine for me is a little bit of nothing, like a whole lot of nothing, to be honest. I um, am really big on just having good skin, and I'm fortunate enough that my parents gave me a good set of jeans on skin quality, so um, I think that as an athlete, it's difficult to always be face beat to the gods. So um, with sweat and everything that happens, it's just easier to maintain myself with maybe a little eyeshadow, eyeliner, and mascara. I believe fashion and music go hand in hand, again, because I feel like all the arts fall together in that creative expression. And music is embedded in my soul. Music has been funneled down to me from my father and my mother, uh, my, da my dad being really big into actual sounds and the different genres of music, from country to um, Fuji music to hip hop to R&B and even my mother being a dancing queen all the way from her growing days to now. So any type of sound just articulates to her dancing juices. So all of those pass down to myself and my brothers. And I think music is such a big part of my family that it can't be denied. I can never watch TV in life and be perfectly okay, but to not listen to music, you will know that I'm 100% not okay. My mechanism of chilling is by listening to music. That is how I go to my happy place. That is how I am the most comfortable. When I'm in the most high stress environments, I listen to music because it makes me feel good, it makes me dance. When I am in very cool, calm uh, environments, I also listen to music because it keeps me in, in that moment of relaxation. Music is just the key to my soul. To be honest, I think that I'm not really necessarily driven by like this Wakanda wave uh, because I've been very uh, Afrocentric and into African art, African um, fashion for ages. And I think that one thing that hasn't gone out of style for me personally is just the different types of materials, whether it be Ankara, whether it is lace, whether it is whatever material it is that you know we have in Nigeria, and being able to create different styles 
I think it's the styles for me that I um, maximize the opportunity to really express what it means to have Nigerian materials and fashion. My message to the youth has always been to make sure that you never live by the fear of the unknown. Don't be limited by things that you may not always understand. Just because you don't understand it, one doesn't necessarily mean that it's wrong, um, nor does it mean that you aren't able to achieve it. It just means that you don't understand. Also, exercise patience, because in life we continuously learn. And even in the moments when you think you know everything, you don't know everything just yet. So just um, take life as it comes to you, but don't miss out on opportunities just because you are limited by that fear of the unknown. This is your girl, Shell Adigun, Nigeria's women's bobsled driver, signing out from The Cover on Accelerate TV.